Dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending this virtual session about IFRS 17. The presentation title is IFRS 17, Lifeboat on Board. It might sound a little bit dramatic, but basically this is what we're going to show you, um, how you can put a lifeboat on your IFRS 17, which I think is a great idea if you're in uncharted waters to have a lifeboat with you. So we're going to tell you how you can ensure a timely delivery of your IFR 17 reporting requirements and how you can prepare for that. My name is Andreas Grigol. I'm the Managing Director for System Morph in Germany. And together with me is Martin Büß. So Hello, Martin. everyone. <laughs> Sorry, Andreas. Yeah, it's good. You too. Just go ahead. So... Thanks, thanks, Andreas. Just a quick introduction from my end. So I'm heading up the sales and pre-sales department of System Morph. I'm working almost since a year with System Morph. Before, I've been working in the insurance business, where I did head up different uh, departments. So my last uh, three years before System Morph, I did spend in a global organization, heading up the IFRS 17 life implementation. So from the early evaluation, till the start of the uh, implementation. Over to you, Andreas. <laughs> Thank you. So you're seeing we are recording this session from home office as we are under COVID-19 circumstances. <laughs> so I hope you excuse if there are some glitches, but we do our best. So um, who are we? So let me introduce System Moth to you. We are the leading IFRS 17 and data management solution provider in Switzerland. We are founded in 2011 by Roland Berge, and we are now working with more than 50 people from four countries providing first-class data management solutions to financial customers in Europe. On the left slide, side of the slide, you see our agenda. 365 means or refers to the days you just have gained for your implementation of the requirements for IFRS 17 and what would be the best use um, of those days. Um, afterwards, we're going to demonstrate how we think you should have the lifeboat for your project, what we could offer you, and how does it look like, the experience we had already from our implementations. And after that, of course, we're um, giving you some proof points and how you can test us so that we not only talk about what we can do, but you can really have a test of what we are able to do. So let's take a closer look at the IFRS 70 implementation timeline. And if you see from the first beginning in uh, May 17 until the required implementation date on January 1st and 23, we are now right in the middle of the project. And we believe that is a good time for two things. First, we think you should have a little celebration. Because, I mean, yes, you just gained a year, so that relieves some of the pressures you have on your shoulders, can relax a little bit. And we think you should not only drink and have a party, but maybe you should also use this time as a checkpoint. As a checkpoint to your project, as you are in the middle of the implementation phase, to really take, uh, consider the project, where are you standing? So you might ask yourself, do I have everything under control? Is it feeling right? You know, is it going in the right direction? Or do I need to take a closer look on some of the aspects of the IFRS 17 project? Really, basically simple question, like, do I really achieve the goals that I wanted to achieve in the beginning with the current setup? Can I customize the models to what business really needs? Do I have the right data, data governance about um, my formula framework? So these are some of the questions that you should ask yourself and um, where you can look, am I on the right way or maybe should I make some adjustments? The good thing is now you have the time to verify your approach because as well, you just gained another year. So what could you do best with it? And we talked about the lifeboat approach um, before. 
So I would like now hand over the presentation to Martin, who tells you a little bit more about how we can build the lifeboat for you. Thank you, Andreas. Very happy to talk you through our lifeboat approach. So by lifeboat, we really mean doing a proof of concept. Usually we offer customers a four week proof of concept study. And this is really about investigating your particular portfolio or one of your particular portfolios with your real business data, with a real application that we develop for you within these four weeks. That really helps you to test your methodology decisions. It really helps you to play around your parameters, assumption settings, to assess the impact on your balance sheet and your P&L. Finally, it also helps you to have an independent view of your IFR 17 implementation because you have a tool that goes in parallel, but is much quicker and shows you much quicker the results. It's really like a test box that you can play around with the real portfolio, with your real data, make changes as you go to figure out what really the impact is. Looking at the rationale for such a proof of concept. So we as a provider, so we are in the process of delivering for two major projects for the IFR 17 implementation. So we got quite some experience from that. You can test your methodologies with real business data, with real portfolios in a very quick and speedy manner. Very importantly, you can simulate your different design decisions to understand what is the impact on your balance sheet and again, the P&L. Finally, it lets you sleep nicely at night because you have a lifeboat. The lifeboat really means that if something really goes wrong, you just jump on it and you make this your life saving project. In really getting from this proof of concept into an application that you even could use, could switch to a, a real application. Now I would like to share some proof points. I was talking about two implementations we currently are implementing. The first one here is a group solution for the life insurance business of a large direct insurer. So on the goal side, you see that's basically achieving the regulatory requirements. Then implementation, also operational aspects such as simplifications, managing the internal and of course the external stakeholder needs by the introduction of this IFR 17 standard and at the same time rationalize the various economic frameworks towards one common approach. Then you see the Gantt chart. It really shows you the approach. Yeah? Also, this company started first of all with us with the proof of concept. Again, they wanted to investigate what IFRS 17 is all about in <clears throat> with a particular focus on their specific business needs. From that one, they decided to move on, running a pilot with the real business unit because they wanted to test what it means using the application for a business unit. After that, the decision was taken for the implementation. And as you can see here, they are going to start as we speak with the light parallel run. Before then, they move to the uh, parallel run later on. There is still then the question, okay, since we have heard that there is another delay of one year, what they're going to do if they have now basically gained another year, so they're very much ahead of the game. Looking at the next example, our proof point B, that's also group solution we're providing here. This includes this time the life, non-life, and the reinsurance solution for IFRS 17 for all of their business units. Here, at the same time, similar to what we have seen before, it's about implementing the standards, of course, but at the same time, achieving synergies in terms of one approach, having one data model, one financial system here, S4 for HANA in this case, one common operating chart of accounts, one common data hub, 
one mandatory and integrated reporting calendar. And this all supported by the life actuarial, non-life and reinsurance actuarial engine that we provide here. Similar here, as you see the Gantt chart, there was a proof of concept. However, this company started with a different solution. That's what you see in the white bar. And then later on, they really tested us, have tested us with the proof of concept. And later on, they switched to us. So this is uh, what we have been talking before. This is really the life boat approach they have chosen being with us now since last September. The um, current status is that as we speak in April, they're going to start the system integration test. That's really the gray bar here that you see. Basically, they want to finish in Q1 next year with the implementation and then going into the uh, parallel run situation. Also with this company, it's not totally clear yet what they're going to do with this additional 365 days. Moving on. I would like to share some insights. You know, as we do IFRS 17 project, and as we know very much <clears throat> about the challenges because of these projects, I give you some insight on the challenges and I pick some of them, but even more importantly, giving you an idea how we mitigate those challenges. First of all, as you also have experienced, there is no standard model that fits perfectly your business reality. And that really means to mitigate this, you need to have a tool set that you can customize to your particular needs. It's really about getting your solution for your particular portfolios, for your particular business circumstances. Then also as we have gone through the IFRS standard and its interpretation with its methodologies, it's pretty complex. It's more complex than everyone has, has seen that before. And that really means you have to mitigate in the implementation this reality of complexity. Basically, it's about trial and error. So building the application in iteration is the right response that you make a decision, you implement, and then you look at the outcome. And if it's not what you have expected, you go through another iteration till you have achieved the best fit. On the data, the, uh, as always, data is a big topic, you know, and the, um, the uh, mitigation around data management is really about the data parsing. That basically means you start with the data that is available, you parse the data, and then you improve as you go. Again, like what you have seen in methodology through various iterations, improving the data and the parsing techniques to achieve the full picture with your complete data sets. But again, this is something that you will typically achieve over time. But rather than go for a big data project, once you have harmonize, standardize your whole data, you would only start with the implementation. That's something which would be a very, very highly risky. Then in terms of uh, being rapid, it's important to have short iterations. Because it, as I said, because there are a lot of unknown variables and you have to investigate them through iterations. Therefore, a very focused, rapid implementation of methodologies, of design decision, helps you to understand adjusting your approach going forward. Then what we also are observing, the operational impact. IFRS 17 does quite have a big impact for the organization, not only in actuary, but also in accounting. So the roles of the actuaries becomes much more dominant, much more important, for the overall accounting and closing process of companies. And this role change needs to be planned ahead of the implementation, typically as a part of the testing. Already the organization that is gonna run the process end to end 
needs to be involved for the system integration test, for the user acceptance testing, that they're really getting familiar and have a say on important design decisions. This is something that shouldn't be underestimated. Finally, quickly about the point nine, what you also have seen, once you have solved the problem, a lot of other problems typically pop up. It's like mushrooms, you know, all over the place, new mushrooms pop up and you have to identify them and you have to fix them as you go. And that, of course, needs a lot of time. And therefore, it's very important that you have a solid lifeboat, a solid approach on your engine implementation that you have also time for the non-engine related challenges. Moving on to the next slide. Here, it's about our company, you know. And one particular value proposition is about speed. Before you have seen that we offer fixed proof of concept, which really means that we deliver you a real application in four weeks from start to end with your portfolios, with your IFRS 17 results. Why we can do that? That's because we have a very seasoned workforce consisting of actuaries, business. That means a lot of our people, they come from the insurance business, from the reinsurance business, and we have the particular IT workforce that does then the real implementation. And that really means we speak the same language. You know, because we know your business, we come from your business, but you know your particular challenges because we have seen that before. Typically, we avoid lengthy specs because we do not believe in producing hundreds of specification and then handing that over to an IT department. Usually that's a big struggle. So because we have the people with the particular IT expertise, business expertise. We have a talk to you. We uh, have typically some excels with your models and then we're gonna write straight with the implementation, showing in short iteration the outcomes where you can adjust, where you can improve to your particular needs. And that really helps with our short iteration to absorb changes and they come for sure and also surprises, they will come for sure too. So we expect the changes, we expect the surprises, and we master them. On the uh, data models, they are growing in terms of complexity over time, but this is something we know in advance, and we know that we can master that, again, through iterations, adjusting the data models as we go. Moving on to the next slide, this is more on the IT technology. So as Andreas outlined you our company, so back in 2011, the really basic foundation was developed over a couple of years in terms of the underlying data management of our platform. This helps us now to be very fast in the implementation and having customer-specific formula framework with your data language implemented in our platform. So you do not need to learn a new syntax, but you're going to see your syntax being implemented in our application. You can drill down on all the formulas down to the very input field of each and every calculation in the application. This is really avoiding the black box. And knowing actuarial, this is very important that you can verify, validate the data is coming from what's going to happen with the data through the application of different formulas to really understand the outputs. We have also very strong workflow. We call them actually the business processes. It's basically a retirement of all non-system related work. People are gonna work solely with the platform, running through the whole processes needed to produce a close. So it typically starts with the data uploading of a particular business unit into the central IFRS 17 solution. 
And that is all triggered by a workflow application with sign off, with internal controls, till you have really the group results produced centrally. As people go through the application, through the business process, an audit trail is electronically taken. And also all the commentary that explain the results are recorded. That allows you at the end of the day to pull any documentation, being on controls, being on sign-offs, being on commentary, on the numbers, tailored to the particular needs of your CFO <coughs> or the other key stakeholders, producing the reports directly. It's really about putting together the numbers and the commentary in the same application. Finally, you have the opportunity to have version control, restatements. If you do have organizational changes, that's nicely reflected with the ability to have restatement at any given point in time. So that was about the uh, technical side of our of our uh, approach. Now with that, I would like to hand over back to you, Andreas. Yes, thank you, Martin. Thank you very much for this um, very detailed uh, demonstration of what we can offer to you. And we can offer that to you because we believe we are the only provider that has already delivered successfully a complete IFRS 17 solution. So we hope that has become clear throughout the presentation that we really know the business, we know what we're talking about, and we know how we can help you. And one of the things that we can't say too often, I would say, is that we can offer you this proof of concept for weeks, as Martin has said, with real business data, you can really check if your um, models are working and everything around for just 60K on a fixed price for four weeks. So we can offer you really that lifeboat and I've tried to picture that with that um, cruiser we have here. So regardless of how big your ship is, you need to have lifeboats on your boat in case the boat hits rock, you are in safe with a lifeboat so we can help really ensure your timely delivery of your IFRS 17 reporting requirements. And in case Martin just has demonstrated that with the second customer example, you want to switch your route, we can turn that lifeboat into a speedboat um, if you may choose an alternative route on your way to achieve the IFRS 17 reporting requirements. That's what we wanted to talk to you. If you have any questions, no problem. Just give us a call. Here are our Twitter, uh, LinkedIn handles. Um, you can, can contact us directly through LinkedIn or, of course, through the normal ways um, via our company information. With that, I would say thank you very much for your attention. Um, we close the presentation. Martin, any remarks from you? Nothing from my end. Thank you very much for your attention. It was good to talk to you. Yes, and with that, we're hoping to hear from you soon. Bye and have a nice day. Goodbye.